Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today's video is a brand new Let's Play on Chief Pat 2. So I'm at 2015 trophies. I want to try out some crystal farming today. I would be in crystal 3 if my emblem was showing, uh, but let's go ahead and see what we want to upgrade. So I have 1.8 million gold, and pretty much the cheapest thing I can upgrade is this cannon to level 11. So I need about 1.4 million, but I do have a clan war that's about to finish up, so I should get over 600,000 resources of each once that's over. So let's try to shoot for about 2.6 million gold, and we should have enough to get the upgrade. All right, so looking at base number one, this only took me a little bit to find. Like I said in the last video, I pretty much just started complaining about how loot was pretty terrible in the gold league. Uh, I was around 1,400 to 1,500 trophies, and to be honest, I've been playing the game for about a year and a half, and I've never really had to change my trophy range down there. It's been really consistent. I've always found bases with 200,000 gold, 200,000 elixir, but recently it's just been terrible. I know I, th I think I said it called it a nightmare, um, but it was taking me 15 minutes to find bases which is just crazy it was costing me tens of thousands of gold but more importantly I wasn't having any fun doing it so I told you guys I would change it up I'd go to the Crystal League and see how the loot was up there and overall things look like it's a little bit better so I'm not seeing any like Town Hall 7s or anything like that I'm not seeing a whole lot of Town Hall 8s but I'm finding bases that have a little bit more as far as like defenses go they might have um, some expos built and stuff like that but I'm still finding bases that are abandoned which is usually what we look for we look for people like this that have their gold mines and their elixir pumps on the outside um, and you can easily come in you can steal those you might take out a storage or two but then you walk away with about 400,000 resources and profit so I think I found a little bit more than I was finding, or I, I definitely know I found more than what I was finding over the last couple weeks, uh, and things are pretty steady. So instead of taking 15 minutes to find a raid, it's been taking about four or five minutes, and while four or five minutes staring at your iPad and clicking a next button really isn't that fun, uh, it's definitely doable. I'm finding good bases to attack, it's not that frustrating, and I'm still having fun while I'm farming. So things have been pretty profitable. You can see here's a raid right here, 362,000 resources and things are definitely looking up so I think I'm gonna stay around here for a little bit I might move down to like 1800 trophies or something like that just because it's so close uh, but I think this might be the sweet spot and where I'm gonna find most of the resources again if you guys have been farming and if you found a good trophy range definitely let me know in the comment section below but I think I'll definitely stick around here for at least the next couple weeks all right, so look at, let's look at this base right here. It's King Kong, and he's a Town Hall 8, so he looks actually pretty weak looking at his defenses. I usually don't attack bases that have their storages behind a ton of walls, but with this guy, his defenses really are just so underleveled to the point where I think I can just go on an all-out assault and get all of his resources. So let's go ahead and go through both sides. I drop my clan castle, I drop my archers, sort of resembling the Go Wee Wee strategy where I drop stuff on both sides. And then now I'm just going to make my way through with some goblins. So I'm just going to start spamming these guys. I don't really have a lot of wall breakers. That's why I said I don't like attacking bases like this. But again, this guy is a Town Hall 8. So if he's a Town Hall 8, I don't really mind. But if I'm attacking a Town Hall 10 that has a bunch of walls laid out like that, I'm probably going to have to skip that base. All right, so we've taken all of the we've taken all the elixir. We're making our way to the gold storages. We're starting to take care of the one on the right. Got my wizards attacking the one on the left. And after that goes down, we should be able to surrender. So it looks like there's 900 elixir left, 900 gold left. At this point, we're just going to want to surrender. We got 57%, so we're going to be able to keep our trophies. And overall, we stole over 500,000 resources. So that was a great raid, and I've been really finding a lot of raids like here, this up here in Crystal League. Not instantly. Of course, I do this editing to where you guys don't have to watch me search forever because it would get super boring. But I'm still finding great bases just like this one. So this is another Town Hall 8. He has over 400,000 Elixir available. And I forgot to mention this in the very beginning. I don't know if I did, but I don't really have enough Elixir to do any other upgrades besides my cannon. Uh, unfortunately, all my Elixir costs are ridiculous now. I might just save up for something in the laboratory just because I think it's like 6 million to upgrade something like my balloons. Um, so I'm just going to save up for those things and not really spend it. Maybe I'll spend it on a dark elixir drill, but we'll just see what happens in the next video. All right, so for this guy, it looks like a good amount of stuff in the mines and pumps. His gold storages are looking empty, but I think his elixir storages have a lot of resources. So about 100,000 in each. And after I take care of the second one, we can go ahead and focus on the buildings on the outside. So I drop some wall breakers, drop my giant, drop some goblins. 
and now I'm just gonna focus on getting 50% so I've really stopped focusing that much on 50% now that I'm in the Crystal League I really don't have to maintain my trophies that much because farming still is probably gonna be the same around 1900 trophies or 1800 trophies whereas when I was in gold 3 if I dropped 200 trophies I would see a significant decline in loot so I am actually just gonna go ahead and do it because it's pretty convenient I'm only gonna have to draw my archers um, and after I destroy this Tesla my archers should make their way through these buildings really quickly so as those guys destroy the stuff up there I'm gonna drop one archer on each of these army camps so it looks like those guys will be out of range of the defenses and then looking at the top again we're taking care of the barbarian king and then I'll just start spamming these guys to take care of the rest of those buildings. So those buildings really don't have a lot of hit points. Again, if you ever see a barracks, a builder hut, lab, spell factory, stuff like that, those things really don't have a lot of hit points to where you can drop like three archers and they'll shoot them down. Um, things like army camps on the bottom left, you can see those have a, actually have a lot of hit points. So I was pretty lucky that I was able to drop some archers to snipe those out. Um, but I went ahead and got that 50% just because it was convenient. And yeah, after these guys go down, it should wrap it up for this raid. So for four army camps, one of those should be worth at least 2%, so I'm not too worried about getting the 50. And once again, this one is gonna be over 600,000 resources. So after that one goes down, looks like we are at 52%. 410,000 elixir, 203,000 gold, plus a little bit of a bonus, as well as we got to maintain those five trophies. So overall, pretty successful raiding today. Let's head back to base. Like I said, we just finished a clan war literally when I was in the middle of this Let's Play. So checking out who we attacked, we actually fought Incognito, and we won by 34 stars. So it was a blowout. Uh, I actually got 665,000 of each resource. I'm going to go ahead and collect that, and we can start our upgrades. So we're at 3.28 million, definitely enough to get our cannon. And yeah, let's upgrade that, and that'll finish up this episode. So I guess in summary, Crystal League has been a little bit better than Gold League. It's definitely made it uh, doable. I mean, it was pretty ridiculous when I was in Gold 3 um, at least a couple weeks ago. But I've had a lot of fun in Crystal, and it's worked out for me, so you guys should definitely try it out. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up this video. Make sure you guys drop a like if you enjoyed it. Other than that, I will see you guys later. Peace out.